Hey, Thomas here from Archetype Themes. Building Shopify liquid themes is hard. Open source resources like Dawn and Shopify CLI are great for getting started, but ultimately fall short for advanced needs. Any theme business that wants to succeed needs to significantly invest in their own custom tooling and workflows. This investment is a huge barrier for new businesses trying to break in to the theme design and development industry. To make things worse, most of the innovation in this space remains scattered in private silos, and the same problems remain unsolved. Innovation in the liquid ecosystem is stagnating, and it's ultimately hurting merchants. But liquid is king, and its value is clearer than ever. Shopify is pushing up market to enterprise, and the need for high quality themes is only growing. Meanwhile, budgets are tighter than ever, and going headless or building from scratch is not an economic solution. We could all benefit from more open collaboration on how to ship better liquid themes. Let's save the competition for what we build, not how we build it. This is why I'm so excited to announce an open source preview for a modern component first theme building experience. We're calling it Archetype Dev Kit and it's available now on GitHub. Design, build and maintain your catalog of liquid themes using the same specifications, workflows, tooling and source code that Archetype uses to power thousands of Shopify online stores. From centralizing functionality into well-scoped reusable theme components to facilitating an easier design handoff with a matching Figma file, DevKit aims to provide an end-to-end -end theme design and development environment. This initial preview of Archetype DevKit is a call to action for the community. We know we're not the only ones thinking of these problems or having built solutions around them. We need your expertise and experience to build the ideal open source spec for a community-backed solution. Together, we can move the Shopify theme ecosystem into the future. I'll see you in the discussion boards.